Ye powers wha make mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare. All Scotland wants nae skinking wear that jops in luggies. So if you wish her grateful prayer, gear a haggis. We're going to be talking about all things when it comes to presentation and stage skills today. Uh, maybe something that's going to be helping and enhancing your performance in the coming year. Sylvia Baldock is my guest on today's programme. You want every person in that room to feel that you're absolutely talking to them. So a lot of that is that eye contact and most of us are quite uncomfortable with eye contact and we won't hold that for more than just a couple of seconds so you'll see a lot of speakers that will just scan the room in the old days i mean i remember being taught presentation skills years ago where they said do it in a w formation so go around the room like this and you end up looking like a nodding dog on the back <laughs> of a windscreen <laughs> so people still realize that when you're center stage you're making a really powerful point I think it very much depends on your subject. So my subject is all about unlocking more of your true potential and therefore people can connect with me more if they know that at one stage I was infinitely smaller than I am now because my message is that inside of us all there is this presence that is there regardless of how it's been suppressed and that when you connect with that presence then you can let it show. You know, we've had a conversation before about charisma and the fact that charismatic leaders are 68% more effective than their less charismatic counterparts because they're connecting with people, they're listening to them, they're understanding what they're going through. And for somebody that you mentioned, you know, standing up and doing a sales presentation, you know, be a bit vulnerable. Take, talk about when you were starting out in sales. Talk about the issues that you had and how you overcame them. I, I really like to start my speeches with a very powerful opening. So I like to really grab the attention because those first few seconds when you stand on stage are when the audience decide whether you're going to be worth listening to or not. The minute you stand on stage, you have the attention of the whole audience. The minute you open your mouth, you can lose it. Would you believe that 84% of British workers are not playing to their strengths at work? Imagine the impact that has on their motivation, their engagement and their productivity and actually pauses are so powerful for a number of reasons. A, it allows you to absorb what's just been said and be ready for the next gem that's going to come, but also it makes the speaker look incredibly confident. My next stage is to come out with a common myth around what I'm speaking about. So again, if you remember that last talk I did, I said now a lot of people think that you're either a born speaker or you're not, that it's, it's just the luck of the draw. And that if you're not born to speak, then you never can. But actually I dispute that. And I think that everybody can be taught to speak a lot better than they currently do. So you've got the powerful opening, the myth, the big promise. And then I'm straight into signposting because you mentioned earlier about how a lot of people meander through the talk and you don't actually know where they're going and you can't quite get the point of it. So it's really important up front to signpost exactly what you're, what you're going to be doing. Never leave it on the q and I always say to the organiser, I'm going to do Q&A, but then I want the stage back so that I can just summarise and have a call to action and close it powerfully because at the end you want to have a powerful close. So I'm Sylvia Baldock, I'm a professional speaker and trainer and I love teaching people to speak with more passion, more power and more presence and one of the keys to doing that well is to really connect with who you are at your core and bring some of yourself to the stage. You know, why do you speak about what you do? Why is it a passion of yours? Because that brings real credibility, it shows that you've been there, you've done it and that you understand where your audience are coming from and then craft your talk with a really clear structure. Let your audience know what you're going to be covering and what's in it for them. And I always say think about what the audience needs first rather than what you want to share and satisfy that need before you satisfy your own need to shine. Have three clear points, have a call to action and takeaways that are going to make a real difference to the audience and enjoy it. If you're having fun on stage, your audience will have fun listening to you. Just enjoy. Mm -hmm.